What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Factorio. This is episode number 12 and today we've got to do some some work because yeah, last episode in the episode before we set up this mall and I think it looks pretty cool and it works pretty awesome. Well, this side does at least. The only problem is that this side is not working great and the reason for that is because we don't have steel yet. So I think we're at the point where we need to, to get steel hooked up because most of the things from here on out are going to require steel. Uh, we got the steel furnaces, we've got um, all this stuff here that's going to require steel engines and, and uh, cars, I mean these cars and stuff, and even train tracks are going to require steel. So while I've been putting it off for a bit since it's basically another one of these kind of tedious uh, uh, setups right here where we're gonna have to do steel uh, I think it's probably about time that we do that so let's figure out where we want to get the steel set up and so my goal for the series is to get uh, so this is this is our here let's actually name some stuff real quick so this is our circuits uh, green circuits right here um, boom that's our green circuits this is our iron so I can just put a put a little iron right here uh, there we go iron Oops, I canceled it right there. And we're doing this just so that we can see all, like, where everything is. Uh, so we can plan out where we want to put things. And then that's that. So we need to figure out a place that we want to put steel. And I think here might be a good place for that. I'm not sure. But the goal for the series, like I was saying, is that we want to set up steel first. And then we're going to go ahead and set up railroad tracks. We'll, we'll start messing around with those a little bit. And what we'll do with railroad tracks is we'll actually get... Uh, we'll start bringing in some of this iron over here uh, to to our base so that we can continue to make more steel and more iron as well. So I think here might be the best place for steel and uh, well, I don't want that to get polluted. Let me check pollution real quick. We're good on pollution for now because we have, okay, so a lot of trees right here, they actually, it actually stops pollution when you have a lot of trees. So uh, that's one good thing. All right, so I think here we've pretty much decided this might be the best place. Where else could we put it if we wanted? Uh, we could put it down here or over there even. Do we have any, yeah, we have some bases down there. This might also be a good spot. What's here? No trees? That might be a good spot because we can bring some iron in from uh, some of this other spot and we can easily get coal. Uh, let's do... Ah, uh, let's do here. Let's do right here. Because then, if we do it right here, then we bring in iron from a train. We only need one train station, which we would put right here probably. Uh, so we'll put a little iron train station maybe. Do we have trains here? Uh, I don't know where the trains go. There. So I'll have an iron train station, then this will be where the steel will go. And we'll probably have to wipe out that, that enemy base there. So let's go ahead and try and get this set up. So let's get in our car, and we'll just drive over there. And first I gotta make sure I have a lot of stone furnaces. I don't really, so let's go back to our stone, which we made a direct pathway up here for. So we're gonna go back there, and we're gonna go get some stone for these stone furnaces, and we'll get to setting it up. Uh, here we go. Looks like everything is out of coal here, but that's not really that big a deal, because we only need the stone... We don't really need much of the uh, of the actual stone bricks. Actually, you know what I should do is something like this, where whereby we are now getting stone into a chest. All right, how much do we have? Quite a bit. So let's go ahead and make lots and lots of stone furnaces. And I don't know if that'll be enough, but I hope it will. Three point turn, uh, two point turn actually. And let's get back to our base, our base of operations. Here we go. Hello, mall. And all the way down to the uh, the steel. It's going to be good to have steel hooked up because steel is useful in a lot of stuff. Um, so this is where we decided that our train station is going to be, so that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here, and this is where our steel is going to be set up. Right where this iron starts, kind of. And we'll start setting it up like this. So what we're going to have to do, steel is a little bit different than iron. Because steel... Uh, First, what you have to do is you have to make the iron, uh, the, the raw iron, into normal iron. And from there, you have to make the normal iron, you have to put it into another furnace to make it into steel. And it requires 20 normal iron to make one steel, I think. I think that's the ratio. Do we have steel on here that I could see? Oh, five iron. Okay. So five iron to make one steel. So what we're going to do then is we're going to do something a little bit different than how we did the other one. We're going to do something like this, where we're going to have this right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to feed like so, into another one right here. So then this one right here will be iron, this one right here will be steel, and then that's gonna feed onto a belt, kind of like what we were doing earlier, just like that. And so we'll do the same thing on the other side. So one here, uh, one here, and we're gonna feed it forward like this. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be how it goes. And then this right here will be a line of uh, standard iron. 
like that. And so we'll basically have a bunch of these going down the row. Pretty much the same amount as we had right here. So 24 uh, on this side, 24 on the other side, times 2 is going to be 48 on each side, which is 96. So we're going to need 96 furnaces, and we don't have nearly that many. So we're going to have to come back to, uh, to work on that. But for now, we can at least get some of it set up, right? So let's go ahead and get these set up. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4. So that's 24. And let's make that one a real one. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So like this. And then we have these on the other side. Nope. One down. There we go. And one right there. And so then we have this. Come on. Stop picking up the weird stuff. There we go. This right there. And we have this right here. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to go back and get some more stone so we can get more stone furnaces. And we're also going to need to go and get more of the uh, of the belts. So let's go ahead and do that after we uh, put these on real quick so that we know kind of what we're doing here. There we go. And we're going to need a bunch of lines of this. I don't know how many uh, off the bat. I can't tell you. But um, but what we'll do is we're going we're to save a lot of space so that every time we need to add another line of this to fill up our two belts of... Uh, of, of steel that we're gonna have on our bus. We can just add another one below it. So that's how we're gonna set this up And let's go back and get some more stone and such mm, These cars are so helpful. I watched a youtuber uh, I watched a series where the person who was doing this series didn't use cars and uh, The reason that they didn't use cars is because they said that they're too uh, They're too easy to run into stuff. Well, if you're careful, you don't you don't run into stuff like I mean, you do run into stuff from time to time, but that's where you have these nice little repair packs. So, you just got to be a little bit careful. All right, let's let's uh, let's actually get all of these. And should we start using reds? We could start using reds, just so that we don't really have to upgrade later. Let's start using reds. I feel like, I feel like now's a good time to start that. So, we're going to switch over to reds. Because I did play a series. Oh, my inventory's full. I did play a series where we weren't using reds until uh, quite a while Toward, or quite close to the end and as a result uh, we had a couple of issues with trying to uh, get everything sorted like change all the yellows to reds and vice versa so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get the reds set up and let's actually put that back in the container like that and that should be good okay so let's get a couple more reds here and what we have to do is we have to take these ones off and we have to put the uh, the red ones in there. So we'll put a red one there. We'll put a uh, splitter there and we'll put a underground, which I don't have yet. We'll put underground right here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Awesome. We have now switched over to reds and there are some mods that you can use to actually uh, switch all your yellows to reds and it, it makes it easier, but we're, we don't have any of those yet, but we might get one later. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this, um, some of the stuff we have here. Whee! We're just going to fill out a little bit of this just so that we don't have to keep all this in our inventory because it's causing a lot of space. All right, there we go. And let's fill this one in right here. Oop, we went one over too much. It's got to be neat for me. It can't be. Oops. There we go. It can't be not neat. And oh, we ran out. Okay, that's fine. A lot of our inventory space is full is uh, clear now, so that's good. Let's go back and get some stone. By now, that stone chest that we set up earlier should have accumulated quite a bit. So, let's go and reap the uh, reap the benefits. Skirt. Okay, you need to be a fast inserter. It seems like. All right, and let's make a lot of these. Sixty. That might 60 plus 30 is 90, and we had a little bit more than 60, so maybe we have enough. I think we might. All right, we should have enough of everything. We've got the belts, so that's good. And let's head on back. Could you imagine having to run this whole way without the car? I don't know, but in this playthrough, you're going to see me crash into something, and it's going to cause problems, and you're going to laugh. But just know that I am happy with the time saved by driving, and I'm fine if I crash into something every once in a while. Okay, let's set these up. Here's one line right here. And then let's do another line right here. 
And finally, let's do a couple more lines over here. We need two more. So here's one. And here is the second one. And it does look like we... Oh, no, we might have enough. Yeah, we do have enough. Awesome. And let me make sure that's, that's as much as we want. So how do you clear this? Shift, right click. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so 16, 19, 20, 21. 24. Awesome. That's exactly how many we want. And we don't need that. Awesome. Okay, let's replace these with the red. And we like the red because they're faster. And you can clearly see that. I, I don't know if we actually used red in this playthrough yet. Have we used red? I don't know. Like, have I, like, taken some out to show you? Reds are, like, double the speed of a yellow. So they can carry the double the materials. Which means that while this, while this setup might be optimized, this one that we use over here, while this setup might be op optimized for yellow, you can probably run double that setup with reds. But what we're going to do for now is we're just going to run the, the standard setup there. All right, let's, uh, let's get these hooked up. So we need to do this. And they'll just go into each other like that. And what we'll do is we'll replace these with um, uh, steel furnaces once we get them. The thing about these is that the uh, the furnaces, they're, they're, when you're making steel, it takes a long time. And I think I can show you that in the uh, in here. When you're making steel, it takes you 17 seconds to make that steel. And so that's it's it, it just takes quite a long time. You know, I feel like I could have done this more optimally. And we're out of stuff. I feel like I could have done this more optimally like we did over there. Maybe I'll do it more optimally on the other side. Let's get back to our car. We gotta go and get more inserters. And I should have actually thought about that. If we're making a big setup like this, of course we're gonna need more inserters. <laughs> but no worries, we got our car. We can speed along and go and grab the inserter from our mall. I'm so happy we have a mall set up. I was wondering how I was gonna do it because I'd never made a mall before this series. So I was wondering how it was all gonna work out, but it looks like it has all worked out. And we do have our mall now and it's producing most of our stuff and it's awesome. So. I'm glad that we, uh, I'm glad that we have that. All right, we got our inserters. Let's run on back. They're slow inserters, but no worries. Slow inserters are fine. Like I said, it takes a long time to make steel. We don't need fast inserters. So this is the unoptimal way right here to place down these inserters. I'll show you the optimal way in a second. All right, the optimal way would be doing something like this. If you did this it would be a little bit faster to actually place those down you know we just grabbed 100 but i don't know if that's enough let's see we need we need uh three we have 24 of these we need three per 24 times three is, is uh 72 is it 72 yeah so i don't know if we have enough because we use them on that side as well we should Twenty-four times. Yeah, it is seventy-two. I was I was unsure about that. All right, and there we go. So that's our setup right there. That's the optimal one. That's the unoptimal one. And uh, let's hook this up. So what we need is we need some. Oh shoot! You know what? I wasn't thinking. Ooh, okay. Let me think for a second. We might need to replace this whole side. You know why? Here's why. So these right here. These require coal. Which we do, we will have on this belt right here. So we'll have coal and iron on uh, on either side. Uh, but these also require coal. You know what? Let's run a little test. Because what I don't know, I don't know if this will pass the coal to that one. So let's see if uh, if it will. So let's do something like this, and we're gonna have a chest for, just for testing. So let's make a couple of iron chests here. We'll put one. Oops. We'll put one here. I'll put one here, and then we'll have uh, fast inserters inserting those. And we're going to run a power pole, which we don't have any of. I guess we... There we go. Let's keep that right there. And keep that one right there. So power pole, we're going to have you right here. And we're going to have you... And we'll, we'll put you right there to power all those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and power this up to the, uh, the main power, just for testing. All right, here we go. And 
There we go. Now that, that little bit's hooked up. Let's put some coal in there and let's put some iron. We don't have any iron, so let's go and grab some from this belt real quick. And then we can run our test. If it works, it's going to be awesome. And I'll be so happy. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to erase this whole side and rethink this a little bit. Which is fine. I can do it, but it, it would be annoying. So let's see. We're going to put the coal on the inside. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. But let's see. So it's grabbing some. Okay, it's making. Awesome, 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 awesome. So you're passed over, but you still require coal. I want, I'm waiting for it to get to five. Because once it gets to five, that's when it should be working. Five. So you could be working, but you don't have the coal. Okay, so we're going to have to re redo this a little bit. All right. No worries, no worries. It's just gonna take a second to go ahead and remove all of these, which is gonna be kind of annoying, but uh, but it'll all be good. Wait, hang on. Actually, hmm. No, that wouldn't work either. Okay, no worries. No worries. It's just gonna take a second. So what we're gonna have to do then is we're going to have to uh, we're gonna have to have one belt right here for coal, and we're gonna have to have another belt right here for the output. But it, it won't be too bad. It'll just, I mean, it's just a little bit painful to do, but uh, but it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and remove this row and then we'll, we'll get that second row set up. All right, so here we go. We're going with our second row right here. This will be our coal. There we go. So that's gonna be our coal. And we're going to, let's remove this row. Then, um, we're gonna take coal on that side. So we're, we'll say right here, the top one will be the coal. So if the top one's the coal, we're going to have to do something like this right there, just so that it gets the coal from the top. And it looks like we're out of the reds, which sucks, but uh, but it's fine. All right, so let's, the reds will be the last thing that we do and that'll be, and everything will be set up then. Let's go ahead and remove this one. It's such a pain. What they need is like a mass deconstructing thing which i don't know if they have we're about to run do we have any steel with us no i don't think we do that sucks the reason i say that is because we're about to run out of steel axe and what we need to do is we need to make another steel axe oh i guess we do have steel oh, i missed it okay let's make a couple of steel axes so we never have to worry about that ever again and here we go almost almost there Can I run on this, make it faster? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> that works a lot better. All right, here we go. So we have our double setup right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our setup like this. So we'll have this one here, then it'll have this one here, and then we'll have the line right there. And there we go. So let's get these uh, finally set up. So we want, let's line this up real quick. We want you to be right there. And then we'll get another one to be below it. There we go. And let's get this one right here as well. And finally, we're gonna need to go back and get some get some red long-handed inserters to set this up. Uh, but I guess we can put these, let's see. So this one's gonna be the coal. So coal's gonna go in. Let's, let's get all these ones and then we'll do the, the ones facing them. Speed. I would never be a speed runner. It'd be cool though. Maybe I should try speed running a game. Not this one because I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, it takes me so long to do stuff in this game, but um, I don't know. What's the speed running game that people do? Mario. I watched, uh, I played through Half-Life. That was fun. I saw people speed run that and it's crazy. I don't know if I talked about this in another episode, but it's crazy when they like when a part that takes you hours to do, or maybe not hours, but minutes takes them like seconds. It's like, how did you just jump over all those enemies that took me forever to kill? And they're like, oh no, yeah, simple, simple little jump, jump glitch. All right, here we go. And let's go get some, we want long headed inserts. We'll get some of those as well. Cause we might need them. And it looks like we're good on the red 
uh, belts, but let's grab some just to be safe because I know that we're going to be using quite a few of those when it comes to the um, when it comes to uh, making connecting everything to sources. Like we need some raw iron and we need some coal as well. So let's head on back to the place. And here we are. Okay, so for the red ones, we want this one right here to output onto that. So output right there. And what we can do is we can just run along this and place them because every open slot's gonna be using, uh, are gonna be filled with reds. And this one right here, oh wait, hang on. This one right here, yeah, it's gonna be facing inward as well. So just fill those all up. And this this uh, setup wouldn't actually be possible without the the second level of electric pole. So let's go ahead and make more electric poles. We're gonna hook this up to our mall. Probably maybe next episode we'll go ahead and do that uh, if we're not too busy working on the uh, train tracks. Okay, so let's just, we can just do something like this. We just run along and it'll, it'll go ahead and place these where, we need, where they're needed. And we'll do the same thing here. And these, these medium electric poles make it so much easier because you can just you can just power everything with no problem. All right, I believe everything, uh, not everything's powered. We need one more. We'll just throw it on the end, just like this one right here. And there we go. Let's connect this up to the power grid. So we'll have one of these. Oh, we'll connect it right here, how about? There you go, you guys are now connected to the grid. What you need is coal and you need uh, you need some iron as well. So we need to actually go and connect these and it shouldn't take too long to do this. We need to make sure we have uh, a lot of these things though, electric mining drills, which luckily we can make quite a few of them. Okay, so let's plan real quick. We gotta get back into planning mode. Uh, actually real quick, let's make this steel so that we know that that's where steel is being made. Uh, and then we get back into planning mode. So we need iron. We have some down there. Um, we might want to go right down there, yeah. And we need coal. Coal, this might be the best bet. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if we want to... Yeah, this is probably the best bet for coal since we've pretty much tapped this area right here. So we'll get coal from here, and we'll get iron from here. Uh, really quickly, let's go ahead and make some turrets. Do we not have turrets? Yo, we don't have turrets yet. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. Hello, turrets. And let's go ahead and get some... Uh, we'll get heavy armor as well. These are things that we never even thought to get yet. All right, we want to make some turrets. That's what I was going to say. Because we're going we're gonna to be placing an outpost, essentially, in a place that might be hostile. Oops. Place me some turrets. So we're definitely going to want some turrets. We're also going to want some ammunition. So let's go ahead and get some ammunition. In fact, you know what I'm going to do real quick? Really quickly, this is going to take a second. We're going to make an ammunition factory. And ammunition is really easy because it requires only one thing, and that is iron. So you'll watch how simple it is and you'll be amazed. Um, honestly, let's just make it right here. This is probably a pretty decent spot to put it. Skirt. All right, so we're going to put one of these right here. And uh, how are we going to do this? Let's do something like this. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Let's do it like that, and then we'll go underground here, come above ground. I think we have another one over here, another belt that we're we're waiting for, and then let's do our ammunition factory right about here. So ammunition factories, you're gonna go right uh, here. We'll have one right there, and we'll do. Let's make a couple more of those. Boom, boom, boom. Two, three. We'll have three, so we can get some rapid ammunition. And we'll have a fast inserter going into them. And you guys will be making ammunition. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, you should be good. You need power, but once you have that, you're going to be all set. And we're going to have that go into a chest, which we have yet to make. There we go. Chests. One of my friends convinced me of a reason to start using <laughs> start using these iron chests instead of the uh, wooden ones, and it's because you when you drive cars around, it's easy to run into the wooden ones and literally break it where everything dies. 
So there we go. We have those being produced. Let's take a little bit of it and we're going to go and set up a little outpost. And maybe maybe next episode, I have a lot of things that I'm saying we might do next episode, but obviously some of it's going to have to be pushed back. Uh, we might go and clear this encampment right here. Just because, we, and, and maybe this one as well, just because we want to use this iron ore. So let's grab some more of this uh, ammunition and let's head on over. So we're going we're gonna to take that iron because we need to. Um, let's start with the coal actually because I think the coal might be a little easier. Uh, where are we compared to where we want to go? We want to go there and we're right here. All right. We should have no problem with this one right here because, oh no. Okay, car, whatever. Whatever. Stop by that tree. Okay. We're going to put this like this. One, two, three, four, five. And we definitely want to get 12 here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, uh, 11, 12. 12 on each side is what I mean. Because that that is, that is a full belt of yellow. Uh, I don't know what the full belt of red is, actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, plus more. <laughs> because we're using red, so twelve is not the exact amount. All right, there we go. And let's connect this right there. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and this is why we got more belts earlier. Uh, we're going to go back to the uh, to the set. I should be running on this because it makes it faster. Oh no, a tree! Another tree! <laughs> um, and let's let's run along this line right here. I hope we have enough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Get ready. Get ready. Boom. Underground. Let's go. I don't know. I always think that's the coolest thing. You're just like, oh, there's an obstacle in my way. Just kidding. It's not anymore. Uh, we're going to have to go underground for this. Uh, up to there. Yeah. Just because we know that there's going to be some iron coming in there. But it's also going to be, uh, it's, yeah, that's where our iron's going to be coming, like that. So, let's do this, and then we'll put our iron right here. So that's our iron. Let's get the coal in here. There's some coal. We're going to have coal in there, and we're going to have coal right there. So first things first. Our coal is going to uh, go this way and then split. So we'll have a split there and then just like that. And then it's going to go here and it's going to split again. So half of it's going to go up the middle like that. And the other half is going to go straight over into this one right here. So there we go. That's our little setup right there. We just need to get the iron. Actually, we need what we need to do is we need to hook up the um, uh, we need to hook up the power for what that what's down there and unfortunately i did not take my car with me so we have a little bit of a walk ahead of us uh i hope this episode doesn't run too long but i do want to get this set up before the end of the episode here um it might we're at we're at like 28 minutes right now so <laughs> it might run a little bit over but no worries uh so let's hook all this stuff up here we're going to start with this side get this one right here then we'll get we'll hook these up All right, and if I break this tree, I should have room to put that one there. So that should all be hooked up. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a big one right here, and we're just going to run along this. And we'll, run, we'll run along this. And there's one. Do we have enough to go all the way? No, it looks like we might need one more. So let's make, well, we make two. And there we go. We're hooked up. So that should all be producing. Well, not all of it. The, the Only the outer ones are hooked up. We didn't hook up the inner ones yet. But we are getting some coal in, so that's pretty good. So here we go. Hook up. 
you can you can probably hook up all three. There you go. Yeah, that's a good one. And oh, I want to hook that one up. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to do it right there. Okay, that's fine. So that's all hooked up and producing coal. So that's awesome. Let's grab our car. Now we need to go and do the iron. So let's back up here. And we have our turrets with a little bit of ammo. We don't have too much, but we have a little bit. And let's go and get that iron. So the iron is going to be in between some enemy bases, which I'm not quite fond of. But we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Stop our car right here. And let's go ahead and... Oh my god, it's so close to them. Okay, well, we'll, we'll set up our turrets and stuff right here. So you take... I can only give it 20. That's fine. I'm going to give him 20, and then that'll be good for now. So we're going to have one, two, three. And we're going to cut it this way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that'll be fine, I guess. Of one, two. Actually, we want to run it this way, don't we? Oh, we need more. Make more. Not those, not those, not those. Make more of these. We're going to run it like this. And then we'll run some right on this way. Like that. And we'll run maybe some here. And another one here. And then we'll do... Well, we can run some this way as well. What we need is more ammunition, though. But for now, that shouldn't, that shouldn't cause a problem. How far can you look? Yeah, so you'll be able to shoot if, the, if anything bad happens. We're out of medium electric poles. That's a bummer. We have a lot of these ones, though, so we'll just have to go ahead and use these. And let's, uh, let's put this one back right there. That's why we're setting up uh, steel, by the way, because that's what the medium electric poles use. Right, here we go. So we're not using any sort of optimal ratio here. This is literally just uh, whatever works, works. And hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> okay, so let's do these ones in here. We'll put one out there. Get this side all cooked up. There we go. And there's no way to know which ones aren't hooked up. Um, properly until we actually get the power running but I think most of them are hooked up at this point and we're gonna have to go along with this because we don't have enough of the big electric poles but we're going away from our base there <laughs> we need to go towards our base what I'm worried about is the the enemies attacking these poles And I hope we have enough. All right. This is always the problem. The, the pain of setting stuff up is sometimes you don't have enough iron. And that's that's what we're dealing with right now is that we just don't have enough iron to set everything up uh, optimally. So we have to go to these kind of far out iron places to, to get like reserve iron. But it's no big deal. Uh, hopefully we have enough of this, by the way. I'm really hoping we do. Uh, let's hook you back up there. All right, let's let's go out because we we want to clear. See that red splotch below me on the mini map? We want to clear that so we don't have to deal with the enemies. That's not hooked up. <laughs> it's good I caught that. Oh my god, we're not going to make it. We're going to run out of these halfway. Yep, we ran out halfway. Oh, we need more. Okay, let's get our car. Uh, are you hooked up there? Yeah, you are. Let's get our car. We'll run back and we'll grab a little bit more of this stuff. Ooh, I almost hit that. How, how far over are we running? 35 minutes? That's not too bad. We could probably run to 40 and everything will be fine. A 40-minute episode. Can you guys imagine that? 
40 minutes of Factorio. Hey, I wouldn't mind it if I were watching someone else play. Okay, so more belts. Uh, we should probably grab more iron as well. This is our stop for iron, isn't it? Right here. There's our iron. There we go. Plenty of that stuff so we can make lots of these. And in fact, we should have done this in the first place so we can make more big electric poles. And we just ran ourselves out of iron again. <laughs> Let's grab all of it. We use iron all the time. Am I saying iron? Oh my god, the whole time. Steel. Steel. That's steel, not iron. Okay, let's grab this right here. These are some belts that we can use. And we should be set. And in fact, I could have I could have saved on belts if I were using underground the whole time, couldn't I have? Well, yeah, would have been smarter. But it's okay. Don't worry, Steel, you're almost set up. You're almost good. We'll have you running in no time. All right, here's a little trick. You can actually you can actually line yourself up like this, and you can watch this. Oops, going the wrong way. Look at that. Oops, but if you if you run off course like that, then problems. Um, probably want to turn at this point, don't we? Let's go a little bit farther down, and then we'll turn. There we go. Perfect. And let's go down. No, no, stop, stop. <laughs> the belts. Yeah, let's just turn around for this. I was going to try to do it backwards, but it wasn't working. That's the wrong way. There we go. Ow. <laughs> like I said, I will crash into stuff every once in a while, but it's okay. No harm was actually come to that piece of equipment after I fix it. All right, that's iron setup. So we should have everything working as soon as we get back to base. Let's dodge these and not hit any of them. You know what? I didn't actually check to see if, um, if any of those were not working because of power, but no big deal. So this will be set up. Uh, while we're here waiting for that stuff to get there, let's just go and hook the, uh, the whole thing up to our bus. So we're gonna have to go that way. Cause might as well. I mean, we have to do it eventually, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under, under. There we go. And the thing about the reds is that they can actually, they actually do have a longer range as when underground belts are going. So let's go this way. And we'll go under. And let's stand on the belt so we get it faster. And there we go. Look at this. Oh, what happened? We missed one. What is that? Is that water? Whatever. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I don't know where the belt is for this. I know we need four there. I just don't know where the four are going to be. And let's go up, because I imagine it's going to be right here somewhere. Actually, I think this is probably green circuits that we're right under. Oh, almost right into that. Under. And steel. Oh my god, we're perfect. Steel. And we ran out of belts. But look where... Oh my god, it's perfect. It couldn't have worked out any better. Look where we ran out of belts. Right at the belt factory. Can't make this stuff up, guys. And perfect. Oh, not perfect. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have that many perfects in a row. So what we want to do then is this. This will be another steel right here, by the way. Uh, we'll do something like this, where it's gonna come out there and go to one, two, three, underground. Skip four, there. And Boom, like that. So that's how we would distribute our steel. And let's actually run this one all the way down as well. Just since we are here, might as well do it. Uh, and then the next thing we can do is we can just go and check on our steel, make sure everything is working properly. And then we can end the episode. There we go. 
Okay, let's take a gander. Oh, looks like we're getting some steel. That's good, but it did kind of stop right there. What made it stop? Where did we leave our cars? Oh, look at that. So that's missing. Coal. Okay, coal's good. So we won't have any coal problems, but it looks like... Oh my god, we're being attacked down there? I can't see it either. Oh man, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and grab some ammo real quick. And this is how we're going to end the episode. We're going to fight them. We'll fight for the right to party. We gotta fight for the right to mine iron. It's essentially what we're doing. Oh my god, I just drove past it. Hey, what's up guys? Let's grab this stuff. That's a lot of ammunition. And can we make a better weapon? Uh, we need some of this. Some of our stuff may die, but we have stuff to replace it, so no worries. And let's grab some of this as well. Just gonna grab a little bit of you, and we're gonna make uh, a bunch of these. Because we're probably gonna need to replace them. Also, let's make a gun. So stop making those real quick. Make the gun, and we'll go fight. We knew this day would come. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Now our car has has, uh, has ammunition. Let's go. And, oh, bear the needle. What's being attacked here? I think the whole base is being attacked, so no worries. We're going to take it out. And next episode, I think we're going to have to deal with this because they're going to start attacking. Uh, and they're going to keep attacking. Hello. This is enemies. How's it going? Let's get some turrets up here. We have three. One, two, right there. Uh, take 200 ammo, fine. Take 200 ammo, fine. Uh, actually, let's take some of that back. You don't need 200, but 100 would probably be fine. All right, so you need repairs, so let's give you a little repair. A little repair poo You as well, some repairs. We'll repair this one, and then we'll get the... Uh, what was here? Did we have stuff there? I guess we had one there. Probably had some right here, like that. And then we probably had one right there, like this. And then we had you running down like that. There we go. And we had one right here as well, I believe. Power is cut off. Uh, okay. No worries. We have that. Power good everywhere. Awesome. We got power. Oh, no. Not awesome. Not awesome at all. There you go. No worries. We got everything set up. And it's awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. So these guys right there, they're going to keep attacking this because the pollution is probably... Well, there's no pollution there, so I don't know why they attacked. Oh, these guys right here are the ones attacking. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to deal with that at some point. For now, though, what we can do is we can just set up a little turret right here with plenty of ammunition. And we'll also take this turret that's back here and we'll move it so that it's up front as well with uh, plenty of ammunition again. Pistol swap with that. Okay. So these turrets right here will defend my honor. These guys are gonna keep attacking, but they've got plenty of ammunition, so uh, nothing to worry about. And uh, I think we can leave this as it is for now. And we can enjoy all the benefits of the seal that it provides. Awesome. Well, if you like that episode, that's going to be the end there. So if you like that episode, uh, hit that like button. Put your comments down below. What do you think we should work on next episode? I think probably the trains and getting that, that uh, base dealt with are what we want to do next episode because those are kind of important. What are you? Are you out of power? Okay. Well, real quick. Real quick. There we go. Uh, but yeah, if you like that episode, hit that like button. Put, put your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.